Yeah, I know. Nobody likes going in to learn things on Saturday, which is why we're going to learn fun facts with Discord instead. Yeah! Norman Jackson was a flight engineer and a member of a bombing crew from the 106 Squadron RAF. On the way back home from the final mission, the bomber was attacked by a German night fighter and the engine caught fire. Norman, wanting to keep his crew safe, opened a parachute in the plane and told his friends to hang on to it. He then put on the parachute, grabbed a fire extinguisher, and proceeded to climb outside the 200 mile per hour moving plane to put the fire out. While he was fighting the fire, the fighter came back. It fired and shot Norman twice in the leg. Not only did this injure him, but it slackened the ropes of the parachute, convincing Norman's crew he had fallen to his death and caused them to let go. Only then did Norman fall. On the way down, his parachute caught fire, causing him to fall faster. Despite falling 20,000 feet with a burning chute, Norman survived with a broken ankle and crawled to a village where he was finally hospitalized. That is a superhero. Ethyl formate, which gives raspberries their flavor, has now been found in deep space. Well, those are some fun jokes to make now for sci-fi series. Does anybody else taste raspberries? Oh, that's just the deep vacuum of space. Okay. Bananas have a radioactive decay of about 1 potassium 40 core per second. Yay? A guy sued Red Bull for false advertising since he didn't get his wings. And he won. He won. So now Red Bull actually has to stretch out the terms to wings. And it's amusing because the first time I saw them brought it back, the announcer made it sound a little sassy, like, hey, screw you, we're still using this because Red Bull gives you wings. Despite the fact that Blackbeard was a feared pirate, there is no account of him ever harming or murdering those he held captive. He instead preferred to intimidate his opponents, where he would stick lit fuses into his beard and weave them into his hair to scare the crap out of people. This proved to be very effective. And an additional fact, according to some records, Blackbeard himself hadn't killed a single man before his last battle with Lieutenant Robert Maynard. You know, it's funny, I didn't know that until surprisingly playing Black Flag. Because I was wondering, like, why the frick does Blackbeard have fuses in his beard? In Disney's The Hunchback of Notre Dame, oh boy, here we go, Frollo demonstrates all of the seven sins, despite himself being a religious man. Yeah, no kidding. In addition, it is evident that God sent a messenger in the middle of his song, breaking the red scenery with a cool blue. Frollo sends the messenger away, and the room becomes red again, therein condemning himself to hell directly. And that is what we call Disney polish. It's right up there with the Hercules joke with Phil Atid saying two words, I am retired, because in Greek, I am retired is two words. And the last fun fact for the day, because it's a long one. <clears throat> there is a species of sea slug called Glaucus elanticus. Or Glaucus elanticus? Yeah, whatever. Also known as the blue dragon slug. It grows about three inches long and floats along the surface of the ocean. You want to know what it does? It decides to be the most metal of all sea creatures and feast upon the flesh of the man o' war jellyfish. One of the most feared creatures in the sea. Technically not a jellyfish, but I'm not opening that can of worms tonight. <laughs> I get it. A creature six times the length of the blue dragon, plus tentacles that can be up to 30 feet long. A creature so formidable that only five species in the whole world dare to hunt it, one of which is also prey to the blue dragon. And the one tiny little slug just eats the whole jellyfish in one go. All of it, including, you know, the painful stinging tentacles of deathly, deathful death! However, the stingers don't bother the slug. They pass unactivated through the creature's digestive tract, where it somehow stores them inside its body and sorts out the most potent ones, discarding any stinger that don't satisfy it. These stingers are then transported through the slug's blood and distributed into the tips of its strange hand-shaped fins, where it uses them for himself. And due to the fact it specifically chooses the most powerful stingers and packs them into a much smaller area, its stings are actually worse than those from a man of war. That is truly the most metal of all sea creatures. Bullet shrimp, watch your back. And this has been Fun Facts with Discord. Thank you all for your lovely contributions, and I'll see you in the next episode. Bye!